In this brand new episode of Akio TV, I'm going to explain what the difference is between the positive and the negative air pressure system, and which one is actually better. So, let's get started. So to explain what the difference is between the positive and the negative air pressure system, I've got this schematic drawing of a PC case with some hardware inside. Now, let's start off with the negative air pressure system. How does that actually work? Negative air pressure means that you have more exhaust fans than intake fans. So there are more fans that are pulling air out of the case than that there are fans that are pushing cold air into the case. In this drawing, we've got one exhaust fan at the back, right here, and for the intake there is just a grill, there is no intake fan, so we have more exhaust fans than intake fans. Now, when we power on this computer, the exhaust fan is going to rotate and it's going to suck the hot air that is inside the case out of the case and blow it out of the back. This will create negative air pressure, so the air pressure inside the case will be lower than the pressure outside the case, because that fan is sucking air out of the case, right? Now, because of that negative air pressure, air from the outside is automatically going to flow into the case, and that is going to happen through that grill at the front. So, now the hot air goes out of the back, and new cold air comes into the case at the front, so now we have airflow, so our PC is now cooled, which is great. But there is an issue. Dust. Dust will get sucked into the PC as well through that grill. So if we are clever, we can place an air filter right on top of that grill to block the dust. However, that won't work. You see, there are more gaps in this case than only just that air filter. There are also tiny screw holes or other kinds of little gaps and the dust is sucked in through all those tiny gaps and it's impossible to put a mini air filter in front of each gap. So with the negative air pressure system, dust is going to get sucked into your PC case somehow and eventually there will be so much dust inside your PC that it will make the cooling performance actually worse. That is why we also have the positive pressure system. So now let's take a look at how that works. Positive air pressure system means that you have more intake fans than exhaust fans. So in our schematic drawing, we have one intake fan right there at the front, and we've got one exhaust grill, but no exhaust fans. So more intake fans than exhaust fans. When you power on this system, the intake fan is going to rotate and it's going to blow air into the computer. Now because of that, positive pressure is created inside the PC, which means there is a there is a higher air pressure inside the case than outside the case, because obviously that fan is pushing air into the computer. Now, because of that, the air is going to get pushed out of the case through that grill at the back. So now we've got airflow once again, and our PC is running cool, just like with the negative air pressure system. However, dust can still get into the system because it still gets sucked into the, into the case through that front intake fan. Now, we can fix that issue by putting an air filter on top of the intake fan so that all the air that gets sucked in gets filtered and the dust gets blocked. Now, you might wonder, doesn't the dust just get into the PC through all those little screw holes and gaps that we just mentioned? Well, no, because there is positive air pressure. So the air isn't only blown out of the case through that grill at the back, it's also blown out of the case through all those screw holes. So imagine a dust particle that is almost going to fall into the case through a screw hole. It doesn't get the chance to get into the case because the air is blowing out of that screw hole, so when it gets close enough, the dust is simply blown away from the computer. That way, it's very easy to keep the inside of your system very clean, and that looks good and improves cooling performance over time. Please note that a positive air pressure system only keeps the dust out of your computer if you actually put that air filter on top of the intake fan. If you don't do that, the dust will get sucked into the computer anyway. Technically, you could also have a neutral pressure system, which is when you have an equal amount of intake and exhaust fans. 
When it comes down to the amount of dust that ends up on your motherboard, so in your computer, it ends up somewhere in between. It's not as clean as a positive pressure system, but also it's not as dirty as a negative air pressure system. So, that was my explanation about positive and negative air pressure systems for cooling a computer. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you actually did, then click the like button, and thanks for watching.